Welcome back, everybody. I am c I'm a Grandmaster Level Rich Global Domination Player, and today we're playing Progressive Capitals on the Europe Advanced Map. We're playing as a green player out of the first position. Looking at the blizzards, we have a, a blizzard here over in the UK cutting this off. We could go for maybe an early snowball up top. Middle of the board position heavily held by orange. I don't have many good cap spots. I could go in the middle of the board, but I don't think I hold a bonus there. It's a two-point hold over this bottom area. I'm just going to try to snowball from up here. Hopefully pink doesn't cap behind me. If they do, we're going to have a very interesting game. Um, but yeah, we'll just play out of the noob corner. We'll, have, we'll hold the split bonus. We'll hold Iceland. It's a terrible, terrible capital choice, but we're going to go with the terrible, terrible capital choice because taking i gotta take my chances to try to win here upgrade the capital have a have a fast start hopefully uh, we can just attack in uh, uh up here and then take out whatever's behind and hopefully have a plus 10 right at the beginning provided nobody causes me any problems it's going to be contingent on where pink caps where purple caps uh, pink did not go behind me as far as i can tell so that's good um there very well might end up being somebody on denmark but I've at least got a chance to secure this bonus on the very first turn. We'll get six troops to start. And uh, and we'll see how it goes. So this is Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. The red player has uh, botted and then, uh, uh, well, botted and flagged immediately. So they are not here. We're playing a five-player game with a capital in the way on the exit here. So uh, let's go four here, the rest up here. And we will try to press as quickly as we can but that red capital might be crucial to try to take we're only gonna have a four cap here i don't think i'm super we're gonna have a three cap here rather we that that was risky we get very very bad rolls in the pocket lost what did i lose two on the i lost two on the two and one on the one i really didn't think i would lose one on the one so purple if he wanted to could take my cap up here that'd be very 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 unfortunate but we do not flag we play the games out and the nice thing about the neutral bots is you can play around them. Uh, in this case, the non-existent bot. Uh, so we'll see if purple tries to take me out of here. They could also go for it and completely fail, and orange might not see that unless orange is on Denmark. Uh, but we're going to start with this uh, noob corner up here, give it our best shot, and try to win the game. So our settings for the game, as you can see here, neutral inactivity behavior, portals off, blizzards and fog on, alliances off, no rank restrictions, balance, blitz dice, progressive cards... 60 second turn timer auto setup. Those are the settings for our game. The white player gets knocked out of Italy there. It looks like pink is playing for Italy. Nobody hits. Uh, purple does not get hit twice. So purple could potentially make an eight on three play for my capital here if he really wanted to. He does not. Purple is a homie and is instead going to be playing for the pocket on the right hand side. Wow. That is bold. I think I'm going to put some troops down in there. He loses three on whatever he just tried to roll. Oh, no, purple. That's not good. I don't think purple has a whole lot of material back there. Let's see what orange does, because if purple's kept on Istanbul trying to go two-point hold over here, it's possible that purple has lost his capital. I think he's going to go to the right here. Yeah, it loses three. So I think orange has double capital now. Fortifies up from there. We're getting 12. Somehow getting 12 to start. Purple is flagged. I think orange just pulled off a cap to go fortify up here, though. Maybe? Where do we think orange is... Do I just take this? I think I take this. Purple's flagged. I'm going to take the red cap off start just to have it and purple's flag. Uh, do I think pink's going to hit me here? Pink might hit me there. Let me just roll this just to see. Now we lose it. Okay. That's fine. Um, all right. We got an eight cap up here, so we can essentially two point hold. This whole area at the top. White is down here. It's going to hit me out of the bottom. So I have no play for the bottom. The white loses quite a bit on that though. If he came off cap, we could, we could backdoor him. So we got pink in Italy with a bonus. Red and purple have flagged because purple got too greedy over here in the pocket. Maybe purple tried to hit orange's original capital and failed. Maybe there was a cap over here on Georgia. That would be insane. 
So I think orange is going to be our main competition, but we've got double capital start. We'll see how this can go. This is the one downside to having the neutral inactivity behavior is people bought out very quickly, but I think we'll be okay. So let's see what pink does. Does he come off of his capital? No, it looks like he's playing for a different position. We don't see his attack and we have incredible vision on the top of the board here. So I think he might've gone down here in the pocket. The two-point pocket at the bottom. So Orange only did one attack, so Orange will be getting likely seven. Yeah, he gets seven on this next turn. Maybe he'll take the center bonus. Or does he more than likely slip back here? If he gets too greedy for this, dips up, loses one. I don't he didn't lose anything on that. He does not have like he has hardly anything on this capital. That's a that was not a good play. I don't think that was a good play. He's banking on me not coming to check, but I'm going to come check. I'm going to come check. Oh, yeah. He's got a five there. He could try to come roll this. Uh, I think I'll be safe. Okay, I was wondering if he still had this capital. So we have three caps on turn three. White also lost his cap to pink. Interesting. White is still here. I was wondering if that's what pink did. He went into the pocket because white got overly aggressive down here. Very interesting. Yeah, orange went over too aggressive down here. And now we have his capital. Pink is getting 12 because he has Italy. And then he also has this up in here. We're going to get hit by orange. But now that we have a middle of the board position, uh, I, I like my prospects here. I'd almost like pink to remove orange from the middle of the board. But I think he's going to go heavy into white. We don't have any reason to hit white. So now he's getting seven because he has 15 or more territories. And Fergus is here. For those of you who don't know, this is my lovely, lovely, lovely cat, Fergus. He is an exceptional cat. We're getting 20 a turn because Orange didn't break me here. Uh, all right, let's just get a little bit more on capitals elsewhere. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to take out the stuff in this pocket. I think 9 will hopefully... Yeah, let's go 10 and then the rest we'll just throw up here. Um, just for safety... Hit white out of here. Uh, I mostly just want pink out of here. And I'll be able to do that. Uh, and so I, I'm i fairly certain I will lose this bonus in the middle of the board. Put this down, buddy. Uh, I'll probably lose this bonus in the middle of the board. I don't know why orange let me hold that, but, uh, that's why I took Scandinavia up here. I got a little buffer with red. And so we, we will get territory increased here. And then, um, this is a plus three. This is a plus five or plus four. I mean, it should be a wash. Hopefully I think white's going to bot out here. He doesn't have much of a chance. He's got, Three territories I have visible left. Fergus's tail is flaring. White is still trying. You know, credit to them for, for trying. Uh, let's take a look at um, our new subscribers. I've got Brody Taylor, who's actually a player who was in our game the other day on the Los Angeles map. Thank you for subscribing, Brody. And also Artinix. So Artinix, thank you very much for joining the channel and becoming a subscriber. If you guys want to get a shout out in an upcoming video, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have public subscriptions on. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. And also shout outs at the end of the video for channel members. Currently, Tiger X is our lone channel member, but he's an absolute homie. So love Tiger. Uh, yeah, Pink starting a war with me. That's bold. That's going to get you slapped, pal. I'm going to lose probably quite a bit here, but uh, good luck with that. Let's see if Orange breaks me. Maybe Orange uh, maybe orange doesn't come for me. Maybe Yeah, Orange is playing his own game. He's not going to break me. Oh, is he? I thought he was going to go looking for this cap. 
yeah, I'm just going to beat the absolute snot out of the pink player. There's white's cap. Uh, Alright, good to know. So pink, so that this must have been pink's original cap. So pink has Italy, but there's no cap in there. That's interesting. That's actually super interesting. So pink will be back down to 10 on this turn. He can probably roll this, but I think that ruins his game. And maybe that's why white's sticking with it. So I don't aggress orange there. Orange takes this bonus, but orange has learned that, that not to, not to mess with me. Uh, and respect to them, you know? Uh, so let's take a look at the players in the game. I'm C-Money, Grandmaster level player from the United States in the first position. I've got the white player in the second position, Silverwing from the United States. The pink player is Doomy from the United States in the uh, third position. The purple player, I, I translated this because I, I have no idea how to pronounce... Um, how to pronounce Celtic or Irish. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's no audio for it. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is. it does translate to soldier from Irish to English. That's the purple player who bought, uh, who, who flagged. And then uh, they're from Ireland, naturally. And then we have Ahmad uh, Skata from... Is that, is that the Syria flag? It is the Syria flag. I'm glad I got that right. Um, so Ahmad is from Syria. We're going to get broken by orange here. Uh, he might sack into the cap. That would be a mistake. Oh, he's just going to take the bonus. Okay. Does pink have that down below? So I'm forced to trade. Orange trades in early. Let's trade these. Um, I'm not going to let him hold that. I think I just wipe out as much of pink behind me as I can. Can I kill white for five cards though? He was mostly up here. Let's let's try to do that. Um, give it a shot. I'm gonna put four here, and then the rest here. All right. Ooh, I lost too many troops on those. And we're gonna stop that. Um, Oh, didn't mean that. I'm not going to break orange back. I, I'm not really worried about the orange player right now. White will set in here, which is lucky for him, because I think this is his last position up top. Unless he's down by pink. He might be down by pink still. Puts four up top. Now, he's got two positions left. And that that's an indicator to me that he still has, he still has multiple positions. Does he hit pink? No, he's going to go for me. I think that's a mistake. I have no way to get to him. Maybe he wants to get the cards off purple. There is a card uh, from purple right here that I see. It's one singular card. So uh, He's down in the pocket here behind pink. And pink will set in here. Um, he's still getting 10. Set is 10 for him as well. He gets 20. 38 on 22 is not going to pass. Um, to give him an extra two troops here as well for 12 total. White is fist bumping him. I don't... Oh, he's going to go for this capital here. That's strange. Hmm. Gotta hit the five over and fortify onto this. I, I, I didn't think I needed to defend that. I thought I was... I, I shouldn't have got, gone for the kill on white. I, in hindsight, should have just wiped pink out of here. Uh, I think this is the last purple territory. Orange won't have a set. He's not going to cause me any problems. Um, pink is a nuisance, though. This guy, overly aggressive player, hit, hitting me out of here earlier and got his comeuppance. I, white, I don't know why you're fist bumping this guy. I guess it's working for you. Is orange hitting white down below, or is he taking the bonus in the middle? He's killing red. Okay, so orange is playing up here. He's going to break me. So we got to be a little cautious. That was not worth it, I don't believe. All right, so. Some on here. Some on here, and then 
Let's go like this. Had a feeling that was the last card there. Um, I think I'm going to end up getting hit by orange, but can I fortify this anywhere? Probably not. Just leave it alone then. I'm not going to overly break orange. White's getting 10. Why are they letting him hold this down here? They're, he, he has this entire bonus. They're letting him hold the entire bonus in the bottom left. That's absurd. That is actually absurd. He doesn't have a cap, guys. You, you shouldn't really let him live. So here's, here's what I should do. I should wipe white out up here because the only exits he has down below are through caps and I'll force him to trade in and hit a cap. Fairly certain that that's the play here. Pink's being a massive weenie. He's going to hit the cap. He's going to, he's going to, if he doesn't fail, he's going to lose hopefully quite a bit. No, he's just going to take the bonus. I don't really particularly want to open that back up. Does he stop? Yeah, so pink's a weenie. Trades are 15. Orange is getting 17. How is orange getting 17? White was getting 10. 4 plus 3. He wipes me out of there. I, I guess I've triggered some people. Not going to hit pink. We're just going to defend ourselves. Uh, it's not even... Oh, you know what? It, it is enough to wipe him out of here. Business decision. Forces him to set in. He's got to hit a capital here down in the bonus. Because he, they, they're, they're harboring him in the West Africa bonus. Now he breaks orange, so I'm not the only one who looks like a bad guy. I don't have a set on three. Um, I'm ignoring pink from here on out, I think is my best play. But now white has to consider, do I go for, do I go for, uh, uh, do, do I break orange? Because he either has to break orange, because orange's cap is here on Benghazi, or he has to try to roll the white or, uh, to roll the pink cap. And I think he'll break orange, and it might lead to his death, and that's what I'm hoping. Orange sets in here on four, and then orange goes and kills um, kills white. It's trying to trying to read the board, trying to force a kill because white is clearly good. Like, White's clearly pretty good at the game if he's sticking with this, and I don't want to take the risk of him sticking around. I need... Uh, the contingency plan here, though, has to be to remove pink from this original red capital. Maybe he's coming off up here to hit orange. I don't know. So orange now has a decision to make. Does orange have the... Is orange smart enough? So he's got this bonus. That's how he's getting the uh, 13. He's going to take this back. He's not going to go. That's so weird. He's going to roll this cap instead of killing white. He can't even roll it. He's probably going to wipe me out of here completely. Are you insane? Wow. I don't know why you would even try this. This is absurd. And he gave a card back to white, so he's just going to get... White's just going to sit down here, and he's just going to get rolled. All right, I'm going to ignore pink. So pink seemingly just wants to keep taking his bonuses. He rolled through me earlier, which was a little annoying. But I think I can afford to just ignore him. Dump everything here. Pink's not on a set. I'm just going to dump everything here. And... and we can... So orange won't be on a set here. 
Yes, there's a stack there. Yes, it's a threat. He, he can probably roll this on the next turn, but he's not going to have a set. And this way, white sets in and, and hopefully hits either pink or, uh, or orange in the back. And then orange is super weak. I'm trying to leverage these players against each other. It didn't work on the last turn. You know, I trapped white back there, but it wasn't good enough. Pink's not going to be able to roll a cap right now, even uh, despite his production. So I'm hoping that this forces white into the orange cap. Let's see how many attacks he does. Because the first one, does he stop? He stops, so he's still back there. I would love to see pink take him out. I don't know why. I think these guys think that white still has a cap. He doesn't have a cap. So now orange is probably going to try to roll this on the next turn. But I should... Do I have a set? I don't have a set on four. That's tough. I think it's hitting orange up here. Probably keeps going to finish this bonus would be my guess. Or does he... He stops. Okay. Yeah, so he removes orange from the top. He doesn't remove orange's bonus in here, which is a little bit annoying. 22 on 14. Not Again, not a guarantee. He's going to try these dice rolls and... Man, loses three right off the bat. This is not worth it. Yes, I don't have a set, but now he, he, if he doesn't get this, he doesn't break me. He doesn't break this bonus. This is a really poor play. Because on this next turn, I'll be able to... Pink could roll the cap up in uh, my original capital, but it's not a very good one. My original cap is not very good. Is Orange even going to have a card here to take? You're down to three. I think you got to roll elsewhere, brother. He's going to roll up here. I hope he fails it. It'd be so funny. Oh my god, he accidentally single dice rolled. 2-1-1 one, one fails. <gasps> Did he not get a card? He didn't get a card. What an absolute... He flagged! <laughs> Clown! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for calling him a clown, but he was so adamant on taking this cap that wasn't even his back. Um, Alright, so that means I don't remove any of that. I'll get vision on when white takes this because he's fully flagged now. We'll defend this a, a little bit just so it doesn't get rolled. Um, he had a 42 on that. And this is actually super interesting because now if white doesn't have a set here, white doesn't have anything he can roll. He, he can't get cards right now. This That's the last, the, the card he just got, I believe is the last one he can get. So he's going to probably have to hit Pink's cap unless Pink's cap grows. So I can focus on forcing Pink into white. Uh, obviously, Pink's getting 25 a turn, and he's adding it mostly to this capital up here. If he's got a set, he he'll get this cap. Cap uh, Sets are 30. Yeah, I think we just beat the crap out of Pink. It is two cards that White's going to end up getting here. Fortified this way. That's interesting. Alright, let's hope we get back-to-back -back sets here. 36. 40. No way on God's green earth am I letting him hold all of this. Unfortunate. Take away all of Pink's bonuses on a turn where White might roll his cap. That's my goal here. Nope, White's just going to sit with that. Maybe reposition himself. Do I have a set on three? I have a set on three. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Because I don't think pink is fast enough. So if I take this much board... Does he set now? I would set now, I think. Yeah, he sets now. <clears throat> but he's taking too long to make up his mind. Alright, he's moving faster than I thought he would. Credit to him. Clearing a pocket is interesting. He won't have a set on the next turn, though. 
So if he leaves this stack out somewhere... I locked my cap up here, but I'm not really worried about the other things here. Doesn't open my cap. That was smart. I'm going to re-break all of this, so it doesn't really matter to me. He doesn't get to these two bonuses either. So he doesn't get to these bonuses. I can just re-break everything. I can probably get further with a trade-in on this next turn. And White still might take this cap. If White repositioned onto this capital... Um, Alright, let's just go take all of that back. Left a 30 stack in there. That was smart. This is, I still believe this is probably the most important capital on the board for me right now. Let's see if white takes this cap. No, White's trying to build up for it. How much did I get there? Even without the set-in, I still got uh, quite a bit, right? 29? Oh, he went the wrong way. He doesn't break anything on the right side here. He messed up. He messed up bad. I hold so much of the board right now. Oh, boy. Don't open the cap. Uh, let me, this time, this turn I've got to keep myself at least a little safe from a trade-in. This cap I'm not worried about. I'm not super worried about this one either. Where do I put this? I'm going to stack this over here. I want to take this. I get the two cards off of it. I get the cards off of this, and I also uh, I hold a, a guaranteed bonus with these two caps over here. And then I could fend against white. Potentially kill white. He's got to make sure he has a guaranteed cap roll. He's been getting 10 for several turns in a row, but he hasn't traded in recently, and he committed half of his earlier trade up here. What's he doing? Is he trying to single dice roll? I think he was trying to single roll pink. That doesn't make any sense to me. So if pink has a set on three, he'll be able to do some damage here. If he doesn't have a set on three, I should be able to get close to the orange cap. Is pink going to start? The question is, does pink start trading with white? Oh, you can't. Oh, he's going to kill white for four cards? <gasps> oh, that's smart. I don't know if he's going to have the juice for this, though. And if I'm getting... I'm going to get more than 50. I got 50 on the... 50 something on the last turn. I'm going to get more than that here. And then I can... Oh, he didn't even kill him. This should be a kill. This won't set me in, but it should be a kill. 100%. Pink won't have a set. Nothing's opened. And he won't be able to get this cap. I'm going to leave this cap very weak. Because I don't want to risk white being able to take this with a set. So we've killed orange. Yeah, I knew white was holding the set that entire time. I don't want him getting through here. I want him to be overconfident so I can kill him on the next turn. 140. I mean, yeah, he's dead. With, with a trade-in? Yeah, he's done. Pink can actually probably kill him right now. You break me, brother. You're dead. I, I almost should have committed the entire thing over there. Oh, is he going to open up Pink? He's going to try to open up Pink to live? Open up Pink's cap? Oh, this is such a bad play. This is just going to get you... No, he's break. He's just trying to break me. 
I'm on five cards, dude. You're just gonna die. But you're not gonna die to me. You're gonna die to Pink. Why did he do that? Oh, that's that's not a good play. So he feeds Pink two cards. Unless Pink doesn't take it. So he didn't open this cap up here. No, Pink's not taking it. He's not going. He must not have opened the 72 to him. So White did all that. White tried to survive as long as he could. And it's just going to lead to his demise. Which I'm not upset about. 44 we're getting. We could roll it anyway. We have to use the Joker, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I'm not super upset about it. Uh, good game to you, sir. We won't set in off of him, but we can at the very least kill him. Um... We did. I mean, we got what we needed. We knew we'd be on five cards after that kill. I'm not going to let you live with that little fist bump action that you tried to pull there. Um, I don't want Pink getting a card here. So we're just going to... Or down here, I don't want him getting a card. Actually, maybe I do. I don't want him having this bonus more than I want him having a card. Uh, let's throw just a few extra troops on this capital. But uh, I think that's the game. I think that should be curtains. We are back on five cards after killing white. Uh, we, we dealt with pink accordingly. Pink, uh, he went a little too aggressive early on. Punished him. He ends up taking a cap of mine, and uh, I assume he fortifies off. Yeah, good game to you, sir. I am going to world on this guy because it's much more satisfying to do it that way. Uh, let's go... 90. And... Uh... Alright. Get a nice little juicy world done. Good game, well played, and good luck. I felt like we were trading capitals all over the course of this game. We got a nice 30 minute win, we love to see it. Uh, unfortunate that two players flagged early, but we put the pressure on orange, and then we put the pressure on pink, and then we put the pre well, I guess we, we took a pause from the pressure on pink, put it on white, and then back on pink, and take the win. Uh, white was an expert. I had a feeling white sticking with the game that they would be the highest ranked player in the game. Beginners on purple and uh, and orange. Red as novice spotted immediately and pink is an intermediate. If you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you right here above my head, the subscribe button is in the upper right hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.